Hello friends. Hope you are doing great. A warm welcome to all the food lovers from Healthy Fit. Before starting today's topic would request you to subscribe to the channel to see the latest videos and hit the bell icon to receive an update when a video gets uploaded on the channel. Not all healthy foods are created equal. Greens may be good for you, but the nutrients in iceberg lettuce may not be as plentiful as those in kale, spinach, and Swiss chard. Besides nutrient content, the glycemic index GI, of a food may also help you make healthy choices. The GI measures how quickly a food will raise blood sugar. Low GI foods have a score of 55 or less, while high GI foods have a score of 70 or more. In general, lower GI foods are a better choice for people with diabetes. Foods that are both nutritious and have a low GI are helpful in managing health and blood glucose levels. Here are 10 superfoods that are especially good for those with diabetes. 1. Tomatoes. Whether eaten raw or cooked, tomatoes are full of lycopene. This is a powerful substance that may reduce the risk of cancer, especially prostate cancer, heart disease, and macular degeneration. Like other non-starchy fruits, tomatoes have a low GI ranking. One study found that 200 grams of raw tomato, or about 1.5 medium tomatoes, each day reduced blood pressure. Researchers concluded tomato consumption might help reduce cardiovascular risk that's associated with type 2 diabetes. 2. Blueberries and other berries. From vision protecting vitamin C to filling fiber, blueberries are antioxidant powerhouses. These berries have some of the highest antioxidant levels of any fruit or vegetable and may reduce the risk of heart disease and cancer. They also have anti inflammatory properties. Strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries are all excellent choices for those with diabetes. 3. Apples. This crunchy fruit also appears to offer protection against diabetes. The Harvard School of Public Health examined the diets of 200,000 people and found that those who reported eating five or more apples a week had a 23% lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes compared with subjects who did not eat any apples. A medium-sized apple contains 3 grams of fiber, which includes both soluble and insoluble fiber. 4. Oranges and Other Citrus The pulpiness of oranges and grapefruit provide a great source of fiber. To maximize this, make sure to eat the whole fruit rather than drink the juice. Studies have shown that eating citrus fruits can lower the risk of diabetes, but drinking the fruit juice can increase the risk. The average orange has a GI score of 40 while unsweetened orange juice has a GI score of 50. The citrus with the lowest GI score is grapefruit. With a score of 25, grapefruit has one of the lowest GI scores of all fruits. 5. Salmon and other with omega-3 fatty acid fish. Wild salmon is loaded with omega-3 fatty acids, which can lower risk of heart disease. It's also full of vitamin D and selenium for healthy hair, skin, nails, and bones. Other nutrient-dense fish include herring, sardines, and mackerel. Since fish and other protein foods don't contain carbs, they will not increase blood sugar levels. Adding salmon to a meal can help slow digestion of other foods eaten at that meal and help increase fullness. Fish oil is another source of omega-3 fatty acids. Ask your doctor before taking any supplements to see which, if any, are best for your condition. 6. Walnuts, Flax Seeds, and Other Nuts, Seeds Walnuts and flax seeds contain magnesium, fiber, and omega-3 fatty acids. Walnuts also contain alpha-linolenic acid, an essential fatty acid that boosts heart health and lowers cholesterol. They're full of vitamin E, folic acid, zinc, and protein. Many other nuts provide healthy fats and can curb hunger, but these two are particularly powerful. Substituting nuts and other healthy fats for carbs can help lower blood sugar. Nuts generally have very low GI scores. Cashews, for example, have a score of 27, and peanuts have a score of only 7. Want another reason to snack on nuts? Multiple studies have shown those who eat nuts regularly have less risk of developing diabetes. 7. Beans Beans are among nature's most nutritious foods. They're high in fiber and protein, 
making them a great option for vegetarians and vegans. They also deliver essential minerals like magnesium and potassium. And they're low on the GI. Black beans, for example, have a GI score of only 30 and chickpeas have a score of 10. According to a study published in JAMA Internal Medicine, beans may be a good way to control glycemic levels in people with type 2 diabetes. They can also reduce the risk of coronary heart disease. 8. Kale and other leafy green vegetables. Kale is a nutritional powerhouse. It provides more than 100% of the recommended daily intake of vitamin A and vitamin K. Collard greens are another leafy green that packs a ton of nutrients into a small package. Kale contains chemicals called glucosinolates that help neutralize cancer-causing substances. It's also full of potassium and has been shown to help manage blood pressure. This is another reason it's considered a superfood for those with diabetes. 9. Barley, Lentils and other whole grains. Whole grains are full of antioxidants and soluble and insoluble fiber. These help to metabolize fats and keep the digestive tract healthy. People who eat hulled barley regularly have lower blood cholesterol. The grain also keeps blood sugar levels stable. Lentils are another good option since they provide B vitamins, iron, complex carbohydrates, and protein. While 100% stone ground whole wheat bread is considered a low GI food, other types of whole wheat bread may have medium GI rankings, with scores between 56 and 69. Eating whole grains can help decrease the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. 10. Cinnamon Cinnamon is a delicious spice with potent antioxidant activity. Several controlled studies have shown that cinnamon can lower blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity. Long-term diabetes control is typically determined by measuring hemoglobin A1c, which reflects your average blood sugar level over 2 to 3 months. In one study, type 2 diabetes patients who took cinnamon for 90 days had more than a double reduction in hemoglobin A1c, compared to those who only received standard care. A recent analysis of 10 studies found that cinnamon may also lower cholesterol and triglyceride levels. However, a few studies have failed to show that cinnamon benefits blood sugar or cholesterol levels, including one on adolescents with type 1 diabetes. Furthermore, you should limit your intake of cashew cinnamon, the type found in most grocery stores, to less than 1 teaspoon per day. Hey! If you like the video then please hit the subscribe button to watch more videos like this and hit the bell icon to get the latest notification from this channel. Share with your friends to spread the message. It will help them to take the right decision. Thank you for watching. Have a healthy life.